why it's expensive to be poor? Yeah, me too. And I'm not sure I know the answer. But my answer would be that you really need to focus on yourself, right? Focus on building generational wealth with yourself first because when you try and change systems and stuff you can't control, that's when it becomes complicated. And what do I mean by that? So let's think of why it's expensive to be poor. All right. You know, banks make tremendous, I'm talking billions of money uh, by charging you an overdraft fee or by charging you a minimum account daily balance fee, right? Where you have to have uh, a minimum amount in your account uh, for them not to charge you, you know, their 10 to $15 um, per billing cycle fee, right? Just to have that account. If you don't have the money in the account, obviously you don't have the money. So why are they charging you to be broke? Like it makes no sense, right? Overdraft fees, right? Automatic stuff come in, uh, take, taking money out, withdrawing from your account, and you don't have the money in there. So now your account's negative um, or you're pulling from your savings, right? Overdraft fee, why are you charging me to be broke, right? And for us, there's no change for that. We can't do anything. I can't walk into a bank and say, no, stop this right now. Like, this is not okay. Like, obviously it's not okay, but me at just being myself, I can't change that. So how can I change that? Right? I have to focus on myself. So what are ways to do that? Stop being broke. Right? Now you're like, okay, what are you trying to say here? Right? Like, what I mean is that you need to be able to realize the things that need to be changed within yourself. Whether it's money spending habits, whether it's changing the way that you live, right? Um... Or whether it's simply just creating wealth and educating yourself, right? Educate yourself first. Figure out how you can stop these overdraft fees. Figure out other options, other banks that don't charge a minimum balance, right? That way you can start saving that money that they're taking away from you and putting it into a business or an asset as opposed to a liability because... When a bank account is is taking money from you for just being broke, to me, that's a liability. So if you can't throw yourself in the system of the banks and change it yourself, there's only one thing you can change, right? Control the things you can, which is yourself. And so I say all of this to kind of give you motivation to go out there and really educate yourself on how you can be better with money. Whether it's starting a business, whether it's just managing your nine to five and your money coming from the nine to five, right? You know, the book Rich Dad Poor Dad, uh, a lot of people always say how they learn so much from it because they realize that they need more assets than liability, right? And so when you realize that you need more assets and you know this, yet you're not making any moves to go get the assets, then what are you doing, right? You're just waiting? Waiting for what? For someone to come tell you again that you need to be doing this? For me to come make a video while I'm driving for Car Chronicles uh, telling you to do this? Like, no. You need to be educating yourself and making moves. It's that first step that needs to get you there, right? And so... I just want to say, you know, um, it's expensive to be poor. So why not let it be expensive to be more wealthy, right? Don't be scared, right? That The bank thing is just one example. There's other examples, right, that people are taking from the poor. Plenty of examples. But I'm just giving you that one example to kind of motivate you, Right? People talk about getting out of the rat race. The rat race is the nine to five, right? You work in this nine to five, you come home, take care of whatever you need to do, and then you go back and start it over. And it's the same, same daily routine. 
not everyone needs to get out of the rat race. Some, some, for some people, the rat race is perfectly fine. For the average person, it works. You can still build wealth in the rat race. But it all comes down to mindset. It comes down to what's inside of yourself, which is why I say you need to change yourself. You know, I just did an interview with uh, Gene Marshall, shout out Gene Marshall, and I asked him a question, and I did not expect this answer, but the, the question was, um, how can we start to, to fix and correct the wealth gap? And what he said is something that no one has ever said, but it's so simple, is you need to start with yourself. You need to start with yourself and then broaden out and fix the inner circle because you can't fix um, Ashley in Alabama who needs help. How are you gonna fix her? You don't even know her, right? You can't fix millions of people who don't even know you. Like me, the, pur the purpose of doing this whole podcast is to educate and teach how to build wealth through business. But if you don't know me, I ain't teaching nobody, right? It's only the people that are listening. So where does it start? I have to teach myself first, then I start with my inner circle, and then we expand. And that's how you start building the wealth gap. And I, I, I just was very uh, intrigued by that. That was an amazing answer. Um, and, and we obviously go into a little bit more detail, so check out that episode with Gene Marshall on the Misguided Podcast, um, ep episode number 71. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of touch base and give you some motivation for today, um, for today's uh, Car Chronicles. Um, I'm currently on, on my way to get a haircut, you feel me? And I'm looking, li looking a little bit scruffy over here. So um, then I got some business to handle, right? Some some car, car drop-offs, uh, some notary appointments. So staying busy, right? When you stay busy, you don't have time for excuses. So don't make any. All right? This is the Misguided Podcast. We intend to guide you to a better future. My name is Juwan. I'll see you on the other side.